Hi everybody, today is part three of our video series of what happened to the old AMD campus and the beautiful townhomes that are coming to replace it. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Michael Soldano with the Amanda Vang team. Today we are here at Ovation in Sunnyvale by Taylor Morrison. It's located right off the Lawrence Expressway exit off the 101 where the old AMD campus used to be. Today I'm going to show you the Residence 3 floor plan. This is the biggest at a little over 2,060 square feet. It has three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and it is the nicest of the three townhomes on this location. And I gotta say the finishes, the colors inside this one are really nice. It's really over the top, it's really gorgeous. It's also the biggest one, so you'll notice it's just there's just tons of room. It's really nice. Let's take a look at this first bedroom. In this first bedroom, I love it's got two windows. They've got these kind of semi-grid windows and it's just a really big room. You can see with the bed, you've got enough room for two nightstands and then some. Very cool. Let's go take a look inside the bathroom over here. Pretty simple, but it's just really roomy, really big. You know, there's a lot of st a lot of room for everything that you need. Even look at the sink vanity; it's got a huge patch of real estate. Look at that! All sorts of extra room. I love what they've done in the shower. So we've got the black hardware, the black frame door, and then this really gorgeous um, mosaic style of tile all the way up. Really cool. Over here, we've got a full-size two-car garage and also a really nice nook. What's funny is the nook in the other homes, it's only half size. This nook, full size. Look at that. Full cabinets all the way up, all the way back. Very cool. All the storage that you need. In here we've got a two-car garage, finished drywall, recessed lighting, tankless water heater. Beautiful. All right, so this is the main story of this condominium. We're going to start on this side. So first off, we have a coat closet and a nook for the powder room. Um, I like that you see the black hardware on the door, so you get that contrasting feel in the powder room. Then you've got this really great color, the whites, the browns, the grays. Really gorgeous, simple, very nice, elegant. Over here, let's take a look at the kitchen. So I love what they've done with the kitchen. These are the gray cabinets with black handles. Um, what they've also done is they have darker gray cabinets under the island. So it kind of has a contrast that kind of fits with this quartz that they're using. Um, they have a lot of stainless steel on the appliances, a lot of black appliances, so this is cool. I like this. They have a white, it's a porcelain or some sort of a white sink. Very cool. I like that. It's big. Over here we have a laundry room. Um, very, wow, very spacious. So you've got a full kind of table, desk, you can do your folding here, cabinets for storage, side-by-side -side machine. Um, I love that they've got the full depth cabinets. See, look at that. Full depth cabinets. Very nice. Overall, a very nice cabinet design. I really like what they've done with this backsplash as well. Brings the colors together, the white, the black, the gray. Um, it's really gorgeous. Let's take a look at this dining room. I love that they've chosen this dining room table that actually has that waterfall design. Very cool. I, I want to get a table like that myself, actually. <laughs> uh, over here, looking at the living room, I love that they've got windows on two sides. So instead of having like an accent wall like you often see, you've got windows on two sides of the unit, semi-grid windows and also a nice balcony over here. Uh, similar to the other units, they have kind of this pillar in the balcony to kind of go with that overall European architecture feel that they're trying to build with this development. Really gorgeous. I love just the openness of this space. You can see, you can just, it's like an open field. You can do anything you want with it. All right, this is the top floor where we'll, we'll find the last two bedrooms and bathrooms. I actually like these bedrooms and bathrooms the best. And you'll just kind of see this, just the staging, the color, the paint, the general feel. So this is gonna be the smaller of the two bedrooms. They've kind of staged it like a baby's room. Um, I love what they've done with the paint. Look at this, they've got like this corner painted brown in the light. And then it's like following the paint on the ceiling. So the room feels like it's like round. It's really cool. And then it has these like really big letters in the walls, nice curtains, nice staging. This is like the coolest baby's room I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, over here, even in the bathroom, even in the bathroom, you can see it's just teeming with character. We've got these kind of hexagonal shaped tiles. It's very rustic, but then also we've got these penny tiles on the floor. I love these floors too. Amanda pointed these out. It's like, a penny tile with the white, the black, and the beige. 
I mean, it just pretty much goes with everything inside the house, the white, the black, the beige. I mean, they're all, all the colors right here. You've got more of these hexagons, the rustic hexagons in the back, just really gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I can't get enough of this room. It's just, it has that. <laughs> also has a full-size walk-in closet for all of your storage needs. Don't forget little linen closet over here as well. Very nice. And then this would be the larger of the two bedrooms. Once again, very simple, three grid windows, another window over there. I like that this uh, accent wall is just painted one color and it has these runners going up and down. Very cool. This bathroom, I love this bathroom. This floor tile, look at this. It's like a square, two by two, literally bringing all the colors of this house together, the white, the black, the gray, and the brown. You kind of look through here, we've got the black hardware, black runners on the mirrors, this really nice tile. The shower, it's just so spacious. Look at this, it's so big. Wow, very cool. And not only that, but you've got an enormous walk-in closet with a window. I mean, you could, yeah, you could put a seat in here. I mean, you could probably rent this out. You could probably rent out this walk-in closet, just saying. <laughs> very cool, very cool. All right, everybody, thanks for staying tuned until the end. I hope you enjoyed our three-part video series on what happened to the old AMD campus in Sunnyvale. It's so funny because when we pulled up today, I mean, I knew where this was and kind of what was going on, but it was kind of surreal to see a big Taylor Morrison banner flying out in front of where I used to see where AMD used to be. Um, so just a little bit of a nostalgia, but if you like what you saw, if you enjoyed this video, if you're thinking about any moves in real estate, buying or selling, give Amanda a call. Her contact information is below. Have a great day, everybody.